guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we are going to be putting the Z Potter head to head with a normal induction cooker. Like, there was a lot of controversy around Z Palette a couple of weeks ago, and they got a lot of backlash, but we're just not going to talk about that. Anyways, the whole reason behind this video is because a lot of people are saying, why would I buy a really expensive Z Potter that's gonna do the exact same thing as a induction cooker for a lot more money. This induction cooker right here was around $40 on Amazon and the Z Potter I believe is around $90 on Z Palette's website. So today we're just gonna be putting these two things head to head and see if you can actually use the induction cooker instead and save a lot more money instead of like buying the Z Potter. So let's just go ahead and start. Okay, so right off the bat, the actual induction cooker makes a really loud noise. Hold on, I didn't even turn, put my mic on. I forgot to put my freaking mic on the camera. Give me a second. I'm also gonna be putting on this little protective glove on my hand just in case because the metal pans that we're going to be putting on here and depotting are going to be really hot. So I'm just going to put this on so I don't burn myself. I'm not, I'm, I'm taking the safety route, okay? So basically what you do is you take any makeup that is like packaged in a metal pan. And basically what these things do is it only heats up the metal pan. And since the metal pan is connected to the like actual packaging with like a glue or some type of hot glue, super glue, something like that, it doesn't matter. It's gonna heat up that glue and make it really easy to pry the thing out so you're not breaking your thing. So I actually have been depotting forever and I've lost a few good products because I never did it right so hopefully this will be really easy to do and I'm gonna put this straight onto the Z Potter so while that's doing its thing I'm gonna put another blush by BH Cosmetics this is the floral blush I'm gonna put that on this oh. what is it doing Oh, I can, I can hear this one. Oh! Oh, it's breaking the blush! It's breaking the freaking blush! Oh! Oh, it just bro- Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, I'm scared. It broke the blush. Maybe it'll go back. Uh, okay, but it did make it really easy to depot. It depotted like a queen, but... I think the actual induction process literally just broke the blush. Oh shoot, okay, uh, me, ah, it's beeping at me! I'm gonna try to depot this one now. So, ooh, okay. So now, let's see if this bad boy will pop out. I really like this blush, so I'm gonna be sad if it, oop. I don't think it's ready. It's not ready. Put it back on there. Let it, let it do its magic. All right, I'm scared. I'm going for it. <gasps> Ooh! So I have the Aurora palette by Anastasia, and we're gonna depot half of them with the Z Potter and the other half with the induction cooker. So let's go ahead and do that. Are they ready? I think they are. Looks like it's going to. It's gonna be great. <gasps> Woo! Popped out so easy! <gasps> oh no! I was just arranging them all nicely and I pushed down and it broke. You know what? I guess I've learned my lesson. And my lesson has taught me don't depot. Don't depot your things. It's gonna turn out badly. Um, 
this is the only one that even was mag like magnetizable or whatever the heck it's called. And it got all wonky and it cracked because of the heat or something. So it had like a weird slope on it. And then I just pressed it down a little bit to smooth it out. And lesson learned, don't spend money on things that are going to depot things. They were meant to stay in the package they came in. I learned it the hard way. Why do I always do this? Are you kidding me? Nuggets, I liked that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. All right, I gotta go guys, I gotta go. I gotta figure out how to return this even though it's been like three months since I bought it and I probably can't return it anymore. Throw my glove at this project. DIYs suck.